In this video, we're just making some portals which a player will be able to travel between. So we can start off by uh, dragging in our void portal and void portal glow new assets. And then we will re import them without a filter. Then we'll create a new scene and we'll do a 2D scene and we'll do a void portal. So we can add in a you node know, 2D, duplicate it. Actually, oh yeah, uh, we won't duplicate it yet. So we'll call this portal 1. And we'll add in a sprite, duplicate it, add in an animation player, add in an area 2D, add in a collision shape. And we're going to set this area to be able to collide with our player. And it's going to be called our, uh, just, let's call it portal detection. One. We'll call this our void portal, and then we will call this our portal glow. We will call this our animator, and then we can save this under our platforming folder. So we can drag in this. Uh, set it to 3x3 three three for animation and we'll do the same with our avoid portal glow 3x3 three three. let's drag this above our void portal we'll do new animation uh, defaults do autoplay looping set the duration to 6.08 Key in frame zero, go up a frame, and then yeah, we're just keying in frames up until frame eight. Then we can go back, key in our glow, go up a frame, key in frames until frame eight. Set our duration to 0 0.72. And let's just have a look at this animation. Pretty good. So then, now what we can do is duplicate this. And then we're going to rename this to Portal Detection 2. And we can set this. I'm just going to hide this. Uh, how big do we want to set it? I'm going to say 9. Mm, actually, we'll, we'll just leave it at the 10 default. Uh, yeah, so then we can do the same with this new circle shape. I'm just going to move this to the left and this to the right. Okay, and then we're going to add a script to our void portal. So then we'll do, uh, Put for portal color is equal to zero. Can do funk ready pass. And then what we need to do is just connect our portal detections. So on body entered for both of them. Uh, then we also are going to need to make a timer, which is going to be a uh, portal disable time. And uh, we're just going to set this to 0 0.1. So I'm going to do if body dot is in group player and money portal disable time dot is start then uh body 
dot global position is equal to money portal two dot global position. And then we'll do money portal disable time dot start. And the reason why we need this disable time is because when we teleport our player to the other portal, it will enter that portal, uh, which will then teleport it back, and it's just gonna be infinite back and forth, which, you know, not ideal. Then, yeah, so also what we wanna do is get our offsets of how far away our player is. So then we're gonna do plus to local body dot global position. We're actually going to do site minus. I believe that should work. And then go to our main scene, add in a void portal. Now I'm just going to delete this enemy. Then we can try and we here. So, uh, it seems to always be knocking us out at the same position. Let's, I just want to set our body.motion is equal to zero. Motion.x, just because that way I can figure out precisely which way our player spawns, which is way over there, which is not what we want. Uh, let's do plus for now. Char jump. Does not seem to be working correctly. What I'm going to do instead of this is we can go ahead and delete this. Then uh, I'm just going to go into here, move this to here. Uh, then we'll do uh, var layer angle is equal to two local body dot global position dot normalized then we'll do plus player angle times ten which is the radius of our portal and you could do times eleven and then you'd actually like this well, it would have to be a bit bigger than times 11, but if you spawn them outside of uh, this radius, you'd probably want to make it like two smaller uh, for the collision. But then you can make it that you don't need one of these, which uh, in my opinion, not something I want to do. So we go in there, come out there, that's what we want. So coming out there. Uh, let's just set the Z index of this to negative two. Yeah, so we're always coming out the same spot, which I'm not happy with. That is because we're using two local, and our void portal is right here, and I forgot we need to use our void portal one. So we'll do uh, two local is essentially uh, money portal one dot global position minus body dot global Position. I'm just going to put these in brackets or parentheses and then we'll do dot normalized. Okay, now let's try this out. 
Did pop out on the opposite side. Yep. Exactly what I'm wanting. So. Yeah, now we can just copy and paste this into here. And we'll change this to portal 2. And this to portal 1. Yeah, so we go through it, we keep any momentum we have, uh, puts us on the opposite side of it. Uh, yeah, so there's our portals basically already done. And uh, something you can do is if you right click a node, you can do edible children. And then all you have to do to position these however you want in different ways is to just move it here, move this like here. And let's say we put a wall between them. It's a very bad wall. Uh, yeah, we can just dash up through there, we're on the other side. And yeah, you can rearrange those anytime you want. If you click on this again, it will reset it to its default uh, setup. But yeah, that's basically it. But um, if you want multiple portals in the same level though, then uh, you're going to want to color code them so that you know which matches up to which. So then, uh, if portal color is equal to zero, I'm just gonna leave it as white. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use RGB. I don't think I'm gonna want more than four portals at once. But uh, yeah, we'll do if portal color is equal to one. And I just wanna grab this color code. Then uh, money dot portal low dot modulate is equal to that and we need to do it on both portal close and I'm just gonna control D this twice and change this to two this to three then we can just move this stuff around to get the different colors I like green as my least favorite color out of the RGBs, so I'm just going to use that as my last one. Uh, yeah. So, now uh, we can go into our void portal. Set the color to 1. Come out the other side, fine. And uh, I'm just going to reset it as the index. And yeah, we'll duplicate this. Move it around a bit. We'll grab this one. Put this here. And then put this over here. Turn it off. First one, put this here and this up there. Let's see if we will get the infinite rolling loop. I don't have it so that my player's gravity will continuously accelerate them. I've got a cap on it. But uh, yeah, I forgot to change. Uh, and change this to two. Yeah, so there's our portal that works. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, fairly short, but don't need too much for it. And uh, yeah, so I hope you learned something and have a good day.